Oh, obviously it's been a year like no other. Um, it was really weird not playing any cricket for like four or five months. Um, so to be back training was already amazing and now to have the opportunity to play games again for South Africa is so incredible. And yeah, I'm just so happy to be here and that everything could come together for us. Smashed again down the ground. The free hit has just changed the complexion of the morning. Back-to-back -back boundaries for Lizelle Lee. Shot. Through for four. That's the shot of the morning. Nicely clipped. Beautifully played off the pads with such ease and grace. And there she uses it to great effect. A brilliant take. Uh, there's always some um, negatives and positives in the game, but I mean, if we could take, start our journey the way we did today after the whole COVID, I think I'll take it any day. I mean, there's always room for improvement for us, but from a personal point of view, very happy with my performance and hopefully I can carry it throughout my career. Up in the air, is it going to be taken? Should be taken, is taken. It's a hitborn. Wicket, wicket time. I think judging from where we come from, after such a lot of prep, not being able to have competitive cricket, how the girls fed, I think they represented themselves well. They fought well. I think Pakistan is a team that was, as you can see, it's a very good cricket team, the world road. And the way they went about their business, you could see that they had to go to mission to see how many games they can win. And then they put us under pressure in all departments. I mean, we had to dig deep and players had to make sure that their skills are at, at the best level, knowing that they haven't played a lot of cricket. I think it's also a window that Pakistan look into that the, the team hasn't played a lot of cricket and has an opportunity to actually win against South Africa. And the way we responded, the way the players took it and then made ways and found ways to be able to win games. I think two, three years ago, you know, in a situation like that, South Africa will also be, always on, be on the losing side. But to see how the experience came through and how the youngsters also were complimenting the seniors and complimenting themselves with their skills on the day, on the boat series as thus far has been very good and pleasing to see for us. Yeah, I think it was, it was exceptionally hard for some of the players, I mean, especially for the youngsters. Us as seniors, yes, we can cope, to, cope, cope with it to, ex to a certain extent. But then obviously there is obviously learning, uh, learnings for CSA as well, knowing like if we put down on paper, these are the things we want to improve on. But I mean, for our first, as SA ladies, I mean, it, it hasn't been that bad, but there's always room for improvement all the time. With the, with the poor performances uh, we put in. Um, again, batting was a bit of a worry. I think we have to convert um, and make bigger scores. Um, but yeah, I think overall a lot of people put up their hands. It wasn't the same people over and over again, uh, especially in the T20s. Um, I mean, the, the way Shebi bowled in, in the last T20, the way Masabata class bowled, um, Aya bowled, I, I was really impressed with that. And it's not a role that they would usually play because usually I would take the, the, the overs at the end there. Um, so I was, I was really happy with, with different people picking up their hands. They, they might not have, not have taken the wickets, um, but it was different people picking up their, their hands, especially Jasmine Britt, she scored two, two 50s in a row. Um, so it, it's good for our team and it's good for our squad because now we go, know go, moving forward there's, there's a lot more players to, to pick from and um, yeah, just, just happy. I think we can just build from here. We made sure that uh, players get tested, have serial tests before coming to the series. Um, there were challenges around um, movement. There were challenges around interaction with each other, as it's, it's an integral part of, of human life is to socialize. But um, they've been very understanding that it's not business as usual. And um, uh, we've done pretty well with what we had. Um, it's been 28 days plus. Um, we've had five COVID tests done and uh, it's been a clean bill of health. So from, from that standpoint, I'd say that we've done something right. Not all of the girls um, played cricket the last the past year. Um, so now it's just about getting back into it. And I think especially if you look at our ODIs, for example, we started really well the first the first 20 overs and then it's almost like we fall asleep on the field. I think that just comes down to you have to get used to playing 50 over cricket again. Um, but overall, playing without someone like Chloe Tryon and, and Danae Fanikak, um, 
It doesn't sound like much, but in, in the women's game it, it makes a big difference if you lose some of your, your big names, your big players. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with the, with the performances uh, we put in. Um, again, batting was a bit of a worry. I think we have to convert um, and make bigger scores. The best place to learn for them is to be in the middle. I mean, experience these uh, challenges, being a bit under pressure, and knowing that they have what is required at the end of the day because uh, Yes, they've been a while now in the system, a while in the setup. They had no, they served, served their opportunity in the academies and high performance structures. But eventually, you could see how they went out and uh, when the nerves started to settle, what they can do. Because it's what we see at practice, and you always want players when they go in the middle to trust that what they've done in practices, actually they can uh, they can capitalize and execute in the middle. So it was very good for us to see, and we're very happy with the progress they've made and it just can strengthen our, our depth and make sure that the players find themselves in the starting 11 is a competition to get there. To the Momentum Pro Tour women's team, congratulations uh, on a great win. Of course, we've all been waiting since COVID have arrived for, uh, for the tournament to happen, for cricket to happen. And uh, you've step, stepped up, you've been successful on your first series. And from all of us at Momentum, just a warm congratulations and we wish you all the best on the next series and your build up towards hopefully a World Cup in 2022.